Hey chameleons, it's Camille and Milky. And today, what are we making, Milky? Stuffed peppers. Yes! And we're making a vegan version of this. Um, just because I like that. I like both versions. I make one version that has little bits of chicken in it, and I've made that a few times, and then one version that's vegan. And both of them taste good. So this is not even an experiment. This one's an actual, like, tried and tested. Like, I've done this a bunch of times. Yeah. And everyone loves it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make some delicious Spanish rice stuffed peppers. So the first things you're going to need are a cutting board. This is from the dollar store. A knife. I finally have real knives. This is amazing. I actually finally got a knife set because I'm a real adult now. These are from Amazon and they're actually really good and I can link them in the description if you guys are new to an apartment and you don't have any knives. <laughs> we got these two big green bell peppers just because they're big enough to be used as bowls and we got them from our local grocery store. So, they'll be great for holding the rice. Yeah, we love bowls. Hashtag 420. This is also from the local grocery store. It's Goya. It's rice and pigeon peas. It says it's a Caribbean recipe, but it's like Spanish rice. So I don't really know why it says that. Um, but I'm just calling it Spanish rice because yellow rice is Spanish rice to me. But it tastes really amazing and it already has all the stuff in there that make it yellow rice. Um, alternatively, you could make your own yellow rice and put in any gandules if you want, but they just have it all together for us, so I just, I do it this way. This is our fake measuring cup because we don't actually have a measuring cup still because we forget one every time we go shopping. But it says you need two and a half cups of water, so we're going to let Milky guesstimate how much two and a half cups of water is. If she guessed this wrong, she's fired. What do you guys think? Do you think this is two and a half cups? It looks like two cups to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more. So this looks like about two and a half cups to me. Okay, so we're just gonna put this into the pot. Yes! And I'm gonna turn that on now. All the way high and we're just going to let that start boiling and then we're gonna put in the rice. These are washed, right? Yeah. Okay. Wash your food before you eat them. So I'm going to cut one and Milky's going to cut the other one. I'm using the knife's chef's knife and she's using the little one. Because I don't need to overcompensate. Well, I do. We're just going to cut from the outside, just like at the very top. Because you just want to kind of make a lid out of the pepper. But you want it to be wide enough for you to scoop out its innards. So this is the perfect little hat and try to make sure that it connects once you get all the way around oh wow that actually worked out for me in the middle it's still gonna be connected so you just want to stab it just like stab through the middle and break that middle section that's connecting it come on pepper come on there we go okay so as Milky is already demonstrating you want to scoop out the middle part it has all the seeds and the weirdness. So you just want to cut around the edges and take it out. It's so fluffy. Like, what does this feel like to you? It feels like marzipan? No. Um, I don't even know, like some mm. foam. It feels, it feels fake. This is a fake pepper. This is what the inside of the pepper looks like now. And now we're just gonna rinse them to get out all those like little extra seeds and then cut off the excess off of these. As you can see the pot is now boiling so my lovely assistant is going to pour in all of the contents of the Goya packet into my perfectly measured two and a half cups of water. What a lovely job. Thank you ma'am. You're welcome sir. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're gonna get a fork and just kind of make sure that everything is covered. Stir it up a little bit. Mix it all in there. It already smells so good. And then I'm turning the heat down to low. So it's gonna be on like two, three right now. Now I'm using my DIY pot cover and I'm just gonna cover that and let that sit for about 25 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and look at it. So now we have our bowls all ready. They're all gutted out and rinsed so there are no more seeds in them. Um, do you guys even know what happens to you if you get pepper seeds in you? 
if you grow a pepper tree. That's what I was thinking, but I'll have to do some more research on that. And then they have, oh, I just broke it. I broke my pepper hat. I'm so sad now. Well, this one still has a perfectly connected hat. So you see, it just fits right on top. And then once we're done, we're just gonna stuff it with all of the rice and gandules. And then you have a little, little bowl that's made out of food that tastes really good with the rice. Even though I'm pretty sure we did the right amount, we're gonna need to add a little bit more water. I think the instructions were wrong. We're just adding more water and then I'm just gonna cover it up and let it cook a little longer because it's still hard rice. I mean, it's like not all the way hard, but you know, too hard. So hard. Yeah, 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 my rice is so hard. So the rice is just finishing up and to soften up our peppers, um, this is what I do with them. This is probably not an orthodox method, but this is offbeat cook. So I just, I put them in the rice and it just like all of the leftover water that is going to evaporate will kind of just evaporate into these peppers and like the heat will just soften them up. It's just going to kind of steam with all of the leftover heat and then after a while I'm just going to flip them and then it will just soften up the pepper, as I said, and just make it more, like, yummy, I guess. It'll absorb the flavors. Yes. It'll definitely make it softer. And, like, I do have some of the rice, like, scooped into them, so it makes it softer and it makes it taste better. So now I'm just going to rotate these. If you guys were to do this and, like, steam your peppers, how would you do it? What would be the best way and what would be the easiest way? Because I like the easiest ways. This way has been working for me. And like sometimes I'll just cover it over with the plate and other times like if I have two peppers and I can't cover it with the plate I'll just do this so that's what I do but comment down below what you would do so these are soft enough so I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna put these on the plate so I'm gonna pick up this and like scrape the rice on the inside so it's not like falling all over the place so these are still strong enough to be bowls, but they're not quite as hard and crunchy. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of the rice inside of the peppers to stuff them. Our little edible bowls. It's like a Panera bread bowl, except there's no gluten. And it's not bread or soup. And all the similarities are just that the bowl is edible. So now these things are stuffed and steaming, and now we can just add back on their hats. So this one goes with this guy, and then the broken one goes here. So now you have two entire huge peppers, but they're bowls, but they're still peppers, and one of them is kind of broken. But they're delicious, and you can just eat it like that. Here are the amazing peppers. Let's dig in. So this one's mine because I broke it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna put that down. Milky's at the bank right now, so I'm just gonna test this alone. Um, spoiler alert, I already know it's amazing because I was tasting the rice as I was cooking it. Cause this rice is just so good, it's hard not to eat it while you're cooking it. I'm probably also gonna mess up my lipstick when I eat this, but I'm just gonna bite in. It's so good. Whenever I make the rice without like putting in stuffed peppers, I'll use peppers, cut it up, and put it in the rice. So it's such a great combination. Like either way, you win. But this is just so cute. It's like your own little bowl. I wish you guys could smell it through the camera. Anyways, if you guys ever tried this dish, I would love to see how it turned out. Someone tweeted me a picture of their rice pudding last week, and it looked amazing. So. Props to you, kid, and I hope to see more recipe photos soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have two other channels, a beauty channel and a vlog channel, and they're both linked down below. But yeah, so that's it for today, and I hope to see you next week. Kisses. Mm -hmm.